Uh, have you seen about the zoo over in England? No. Okay. So, let me let me give you the full rundown. I want to try and get the story right. A British zoo aiming to bolster its population of endangered monkeys hired a Marvin Gaye impersonator to visit the enclosure and croon love songs to them. The Trentham Monkey Forest in Stafford, England, uh, said David Largy, an experienced Marvin Gaye uh, uh, impersonator, performed selections from the Soul Legends catalog, including Let's Get It On and Sexual Healing Inside the Barbary uh, Macaque Habitat. I have never... First off... Have you ever seen a Marvin Gaye impersonator? Well, no. <laughs> I have not. This uh, this park director, Matt Lovat, said, We thought it would be a creative way to encourage our females to show a little affection to males that might not have been so lucky in love. He said, Females in season mate with several males, so paternity among our furry residents is never known. Each birth is vital to the species, uh, with this class being endangered. So... <laughs> Uh, so they hired this guy, and he goes out and sings, like for for a long time. Apparently, I mean, it's a, the video on this thing was, you know, at least thirty something minutes of him just standing out in the woods singing to monkeys that aren't even paying attention to him. I cannot imagine who came up with this idea, but I think that we should implement it in every zoo across the country. <laughs> I think that's what we need to do. Uh, this I had never heard of Marvin Gaye impersonators. I know Elvis impersonators, and we got like Jerry Lee Lewis impersonators. Well, I'm certain there's like impersonators for everyone who's ever been famous to some level. I know there was uh, Nick Rolovich had the Britney Spears impersonator at the Mountain West Conference, right? Our Mountain West Conference, yeah. uh, uh, whatever the meetings were, way back when the the pre or the media day. That's it. Uh, so I know that there's like Britney Spears ones and Rod Stewart and you know et cetera et cetera. But, uh, but yeah, Marvin Gaye, uh, over in England, kind of surprised, kind of surprised. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on, on hiring impersonators to come out and get the monkeys in the mood? I find it very strange that we assume that they understand the words that he's singing. (laughs) Like, like what if, what if the guy spoke Spanish and sang a song in Spanish that was a love song? Do you think that would help? (laughs) <laughs> and do you think the monkeys know the difference between the English version and the Spanish version? I would I would imagine not. Or are we just a different set of animals making a noise at them? I'm, I'm going to go with that one. I think we're just a different species of animal that is making a noise. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why you wouldn't just play the CD. <laughs> like, why... Why is uh, is this British I mean, listen, zoo... now, you're... A, you're listen, anybody... Who, who, you of all people should appreciate live music, live entertainment. Well, of course, but uh, all they did was. I mean, hire... you're at a zoo. You're not watching a documentary. You <laughs> came to the zoo. I mean, you can see these monkeys on the internet. Well, but all it is, it's a guy that stands out there with a boombox and just sings well, into. All they are are animals just sitting in cages. <laughs> but we still pay, you know, $17 a head to go see them. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Said, well, uh, you can see it on, on the internet they or said, on TV. They said, let's get it on and sexual healing inside of the habitat. Like, I mean, <laughs> This stuff is so ridiculous. This is, this is all going to come out that this is all just some Valentine's ruse. This dude got in trouble with his wife, and he's using zoo funds to try to, to, try to like, have a date with her in the monkey exhibit. <laughs> And and he, you know, he's using Marvin. He's going to get in this guy to serenade her while they're hanging out out there. We're gonna we're gonna find out. There's more to this story. Oh, there's. This is, I this would is love not. That. This is not just. Nobody thought this was a good idea. Somebody looked at the budget and said, "We got a couple hundred dollars I can set on fire." The old lady's <laughs> mad at me right now. Let me let me see if let me see if I can take her on a nice little date. And I'm just going to spin this because we're just going to try to help these animals breed. That's a good idea. That's what I would do, by the way. I would hire, you know, uh, uh, an, an Elvis impersonator to meet me at my favorite part of the zoo. If my wife was really pissed off at me, 
And be like, look, good idea. this is I'm trying to help the animals. This is a tax write off. That's a- <laughs> <laughs> Donating money to the, to the cause here, guys. <laughs> this isn't me trying to get myself out of trouble. No. No, I, I'm helping I the endangered monkeys. That. That's what I'm doing. That's right. I'm helping no. the Trenton that's all, that's all monkey this, forest. This is, this, is, this is embezzling funds for your own personal gain to try to get yourself out of trouble or just to try to get yourself laid. I mean, you know, it might not even be as laid. Somebody's just trying to impress. It's entirely possible. This guy is sitting out there. He's in a full suit, and he is standing in the middle of like this. It's a forest, but it's it's just you know flat land with all these monkeys around him, and they're not even paying attention to him. Like they'll look over every now and then, but I I could not. Ima- I mean, it's just in the middle of the day. It's well, like you better be we- glad they didn't see him as a threat. Exactly. That's. A- I mean, listen the 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 pole assassin monkey would have. Would have ripped his lungs out. Right. <laughs> I mean, this guy. Oh my God. I don't even. I don't even know. It is. Uh, it is comical. Listen, we got to a, we get a Marvin Gaye impersonator. We get the pole assassin out there. Listen, you you got you got love just written all over the place. That's he's out there dancing. He's getting into it. Anybody who says you can't buy love, money ain't bought love. <laughs> <laughs> ain't never been to Reno, baby. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> oh god i love it i love it thanks for listening to the winning cures everything podcast the website is winning cures everything.com and if you want to connect with us we're on twitter at gary wce at chris b giannini at winning cures or you can email us gary at winning cures everything.com or chris at winning cures everything.com subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe and we'll see you soon